Good afternoon, everyone. I'm so happy to see everybody here today to help us celebrate the union of these two lovebirds, and I'm sure that they're happy as well. I'm going to start by introducing myself. My name is Jared Gardner, and I've had the pleasure of knowing this guy for my whole life. When we were this tall, he may have been this tall, but we were still pooping in our pants when we met. <laughs> Here it is 25 years later, and not much has changed. Um, I know these two guys' story started off at J.C. Penney. Stephen was a little shoe boy. Connor was working in the junior section, and all he could smell was love in the air and shoe polish. <laughs> You know, and it continued all sort of slowly, some Facebook stalking, <laughs> whatnot. But uh, we all see what it blossomed into. I remember one time in particular, a uh, family beach trip, first time I ever had the pleasure of meeting Tara. Tara. Me and, uh, me and old Steve, uh, we were sort of hopeless romantics when we were having a discussion on the golf cart after a few adult beverages, of course. <laughs> And I remember him telling me how much he, how much he thought of her, and I could just see the, the brightness in his eyes and the excitement. And as I look at their faces today, I see the same brightness, the same excitement, the same love. And I guess I've been waiting six years to tell you this, man. I told you that day she was the one, so I told you so. I told me so. That's right. <laughs> you right. That's right. All right. That's right. Um, I guess I want to read a little something from. The good book, after all, it is a love letter to each and every one of us. And I think it's only appropriate to hear what the Lord has to say about it. So, I can find my... You see that? All right. In the book of Colossians, it says, Therefore, as God has chosen people, holy and dearly loved, Clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive whatever grievances you may have against one another. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. And over all these virtues put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom, as you sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of Lord Jesus, giving thanks to the God, the Father, and through him. Wives, be under the authority of your husbands. This is the right thing to do in the Lord. And husbands, Love your wives and be gentle to them. That's the word of God. This is my sister. I'm going to have to get that in a minute. <laughs> All right. Um, now I would like to take a moment to uh, honor the ones who are not here with us today. I know every one of us in attendance has at least one person they wish were in the seat beside us. So if everybody would take just a moment of silence to honor those who are not here today. I will end with a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you today humbled, joyful, nervous, anxious, fearful maybe, but overall, we're all here in love. God, I want to ask that you bless everyone here in attendance today, and especially the bride and groom as they begin their journey in life together. And as long as they put you first, Lord, everything else will fall into place. And it is in your holy name that we pray. Amen. Amen. Can I get the rings, my brother? Y'all ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Let's do it. Are you ready? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Which one's with? Yeah. Oh, that one. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Wait, this is. We'll do you first. This is yours, right? Let me have this first. I don't want to go first. <laughs> Good afternoon, man. I, Stephen. I, Stephen. Take you, Tara Ray. Take you, Tara Ray. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my lawfully wedded wife. My constant friend. My constant friend. My faithful partner. My faithful pop partner. And my love from this day forward. And my love from this day forward. In the presence of God. In the presence of God. Our family and friends. Our family and friends. I offer you my solemn vow. I offer you my solemn vow. To be your faithful partner. Be my, your faithful partner in sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. And in life as well as death. And in life as well as death. Put that thing on that wall. It's my turn. I miss Tara Ray. I miss Tara Ray. <laughs> Take you, Stephen. Take you, Stephen. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To be my lawfully wedded husband. My constant friend. My constant friend. My faithful partner. My faithful partner. And my love from this day forward. And my love from this day forward. In the presence of God. In the presence of God. Our family and friends. Our family and friends. I offer you my solemn vow. I offer you my solemn vow. To be your faithful partner. To be your faithful partner. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. And in life as well as death. And in life as well as death. All right. <sighs> it's on there. Yeah, it's on there. Jay, you ready to uh, <sighs> do this big thing? Repeat after me, man. You sure you're ready? Stephen? Do you, Stephen, take Tara to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. Do you, Tara, take Stephen to be your lawfully wedded husband? I sure as hell do. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, by the power vested in me, by the United, the Universal Life Church, and by the state of North Carolina, I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> Before I let you kiss the bride, I just want to say good luck. I love y'all. I'm here for y'all. And look, put the Lord first and everything else will fall in place. The moment we all been waiting for, when I kiss your bride. Yeah. I'm losing my hair. Not now? Yeah, it's good. Good. Do you, baby? Woo! Thank you, baby. Thank you,